Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another review video. This time it's a, a my Tsunami 7.5 inch ultra strong aluminum pliers. Got these back at Dick Sporting Goods back in December 2012. Paid like $25 plus tax for them. I think I had a coupon for $5 off. It was only $29.99 says it's made of aircraft grade aluminum it had a different coiled tether that I took off because the hook was a little big so I have this smaller one that I got um, this is ergonomic grip handles and titanium coated stainless steel jaws and um, what I'm gonna do is go over it's in great shape I've been using it on surf kayak boat dock everything I haven't replaced the cutters yet they're still really good as you can see it's got the cutters on the outside so what I'm gonna do today is a little maintenance video how to kind of take them apart and clean everything you could actually get these replaceable cutters so this is all replaceable if you want. And I'm going to hit it with some contact cleaner. But I don't need to replace these. I'm just showing you that you can take them off easily. Screw this one back in. They're spring loaded so they automatically stay open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that spring out. doesn't really need it but I'm going to go ahead and oil it up and get the sand out so take a flathead screwdriver and screw this part okay. and then here this is where it's kind of come apart you can just pull it up and then see it comes apart there's a spring there and a, a washer and you can see it's gunky and there's lots of uh, sand in there right now but it's aluminum so it won't rust but the spring is not aluminum so that will rust so first thing I'll do is I'll take the o-ring not the o-ring the washer wipe it off just spray it. get all the oils off of that I'm gonna remove the spring here Give this a nice spray and a little wipe, wipe off all the grit on it and the rust or whatever. So let's get rid of that. That's that. And now to the main plier section here. that wipe it it's getting a lot of gunk out so you could use like a carb clean or two probably or whatever Basically it dissolves all the, the grease and the oil so you can get it all off and sand will fall off that way. Just get it in there. Could probably use a Q-tip too, but I'll just punch this up. This is where the spring goes in, so I'm gonna clean this nice up nicely. I just wanted to get the, the moving mechanism all clean. So there you go. It's mostly good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the spring back in. There's a slight curve to it. 
Oh wait, you can't put a Foley in yet. Because there's a section that has to push against it here. Just put the oh, put the spacer there. There's a little notch that goes by the thing that catches this spring. And then what happens is let's place it this way, you'll see. spring pushes it this way so you want it to kind of pop out here and then push against it so you leave it a little loose and then right there you come in there have it push against that side And then, then it'll just kind of fall into place. And then you'll know because it springs in now. But before I do that, I'm going to grease it up with this uh, Corrosion X. Corrosion X is what I use on my, all my reels. So I'm going to apply all this on the spring and on this uh, space, spacer thing. Point that there and get it all in place. And I can just push that against the spring and then. Oh, the spring popped out. I'm having a hard time right now trying to get the spring back in. Alright. Get it pushed up against there. There we go. Alright, now I will screw back on the set screw. Clean that a little. You could probably put some thread lock on here, but I'm not gonna. But basically, it's screwed back in the the main screw that holds them together on the two sides and snug it down until it doesn't move and then back it out a little and then you'll get the spring action. Oh, perfect. So I used uh, this WD-40 electronic contact cleaner and then some Corrosion X and I, I put this in my own bottle and um, these pliers are good man they're awesome. Um, you know they don't Ross because they're aluminum and <clears throat> the top sections are steel or steel so they're stronger as long as you're not like trying to cut metal fences and I think you're pretty good um, and it comes with this case with the metal clip so it works awesome uh, you know this is more of a maintenance video than it was a review video because what can you really say about pliers except for that they work and they're strong and uh, they cut braid great. Uh, let me see, let me go find some braid. I think this is like 40 or 50 pound test right here. and. Uh, Cuts it right cleanly. I've had this for uh, five years, and this thing is awesome. I think this is 50 pound test, maybe. You know, just give it a little tug, and man, this thing is. I like it so much better on the outside, it's just easier. But anyway, that's about it. So, hope you like this, and uh, thumbs up it, and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, have a nice day.